Uh, hey guys, it's me, Emma, and Eli in the background rattling about, so just ignore him. We're going to have a little story. Me and my brother were at um, Stockton one way one day. Stockton was the first railway to Darlington, down to the uh, Stockton was the best first railway station in the world, train station. So we were just going down there, it's called Durham Road, and uh, as we were coming down the bank, we sat at the road and it bent, goes to a bend like that, you can go up that way or you can go that way so, and, the, and the other cars can come down this way. <clears throat> so as at that, these kids come flying across the road and this lady was driving in her car and she went round and they cut her off. Anyway, she panicked and uh, she went straight through the she went straight through the wall and with the car, <clears throat> she, she obviously, uh, uh, Eli, stop it. This there is a devil dog. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So anyway, the car went went through for, through a wall, it smashed up all the the airbags went off and me. So I pulled up, pulled to the side of the car. She's screaming like mad in the car, and she's shouting, "I'm burning, I'm burning!" So I thought the car was alive. So I've run to the car, said, "Body, my brother Bobby, who was in the car, said four nine nine nine, get the ambulance here." So he phoned them, and he ran. So I've run to the car, opened up, and there's all like, like it was like smoke. But it must be off the airbag, somebody said him. She said, it's burning, it's burning. So she, whether it was or not, I don't know, but she was all red and her face was red. So anyway, I'm going to see seat belt and she just, I said, calm down, calm down. Everything's okay. My, my, husband, my husband's going to kill me. I'm such a, it's a brand new car. She's going to kill me. Oh, my, my husband's going to kill me. I said, calm down. Look at me. Give me give your hands. Look at my eyes. Breathe. Look through your nose. Hold it in. Hold it in. Breathe back out. <sighs> calm down, calm down. Forget about how long have you been together? She said, 30 odd years. <coughs> thought maybe, but not 30 odd, I think nearly 40, yeah. <coughs> 30 odd, yeah, I think she said. <coughs> and uh, I said, do you think your husband's going to be worried about a piece of plastic and metal and iron um, tin? I said, he's not going to be worried about that. He, he's be over the moon that you're safe. He's not bothered. All his insurance will go up under a pound a year or something. So don't worry about that. She said, it could have been worse. You're right, she said. I've got to talk her now. Um, she was definitely in shock because her skin was clammy and sweaty. Uh, she's a bit grey coloured, so I said, everything's going to be, I promise me, trust me, everything's going to be okay. Anyway, she's, she's, she's holding me hand, she's going, thank you, thank you, I said, you don't have to thank me, where are you? Um, blah, 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 talking about us, but things like that, and the next minute, um, there's a bus coming, <coughs> and the buses are coming down the road, because it's, it's a big, busy road, that's what I'm road. So anyway, I'm, I'm in the car with her, anyway, a woman pulled up, and she was an A&E &E nurse, she said, oh yeah, you're doing brilliant, but they're doing brilliant, so anyway, I was talking to her, and as I turned on top to her, she got out of the car and she started to walk across the road. Anyway, the bus started coming towards her. I said, I'd grab her and pull her away from the bus. I said, the bus put, put my hand up right at the bus stop. I went, sorry, sorry, there's been a crash. You went, it's okay, I'll stay. So anyway, I took her back to the car and I said, look, stay in the car, sit here, everything's okay. The handbrake's on, everything's, everything's safe. The ambulance is on its way. She said, uh, what am I going to do? I said, no, just calm down, you're okay. Anyway, so the next minute, she said, she calmed her right down and she said, have you got your kids yet? I could have had my grandkids with me so she said, I'm supposed to pick them up. I said, well, they aren't other, so that's a God, God blessing. So she said, oh, yeah, you're right. So can I just phone my uh, daughter? So she phoned her daughter, and the daughter comes, she's probably about 30 year old, and probably that, maybe, maybe a little bit younger. And she's out here, eight, 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 nine months pregnant. So she's walking down the, the bit of the bank, and she's going, ah, I start screaming a little bit because of her mum. And I'm going, don't you start, I can't give birth to you and your mum at the same time. Then they, start, they all started laughing, it was good. Then the cops were there, the ambulance had come. Um, the ambulance was waiting a little bit longer than the police. The cops said, oh, he's done fantastic. He said, I said, you want to, he said, no, you'll carry on. You've got it perfectly in control. So I'm holding her hands and she's a lo lo lovely woman, 66 year old, telling me her story and all that. I just felt lo lovely to, to help her. Anyway, the ambulance comes, so we had to go up to the ambulance. Oh, no, I want you to take me to the hospital. I said, you can't go to my car to the hospital. I said, it's too, too, he said, these are proper professionals. No, I'd rather go with you, she was saying. And, uh, the, the daughter's laughing the red off. Anyway, we go to the ambulance and uh, the ambulance driver was Gary. He said, do you, do you want to come with <laughs> I said, no, I've got my car, my brother at the bottom of the road. He said, they'll give it a cuddle and all that. I said, look, you look after yourself, love you to bits, and God bless you. Everything, promise me, look at me, everything's going to be okay. And she said, I'll never forget what you've done for me, son. She said, I'll never, ever forget you. Um, and what's your name? I said, Brian Cockrell. She said, I'll never forget you. And he made up just a little story in a day. And, uh, and the cops went, come back down, you won't believe this. The cop were turning on, patted me on the shoulder and went, well done there, big fella. You did absolutely brilliant. And the nurse came up, straight. you did. I'm a, I'm a nurse, emergency nurse at a and &E. I panicked. I was panicking like mad. He was just so calm. Uh, absolutely brilliant what he done. So, yeah, just a little story in the day. Yeah, he is. Rat bag, make the noise in the background. Come yeah. on, you like. <coughs> so, there he is.